to the COVID-19 lockdown, all you needed to travel within the country or outside the country were just a, a form of identification as well as your ticket. But now, this. Without it, you cannot even come anywhere close to the airport. And of course, now you have to get to the airport at least three hours before your flight is set to depart. The reason is there are lots of protocols that you have to undergo before you're allowed to embark on your journey. An average departure terminal in an airport in Nigeria has the capacity to accommodate about 700 people at a time. But now, the number of passengers and flights have been reduced in the airports, with only 250 people allowed at a time at the departure terminal. In the departure hall, uh, where the hall that usually takes about 500 people is now reduced to take about 200. So that is a challenge, 200, 250. Where we came from, uh, Namdi Azikwe International Airport Departure Hall, one of the departure halls was for 500 people. In those days, it takes up to about 700, even 1,000. Because some would be standing, some would be eating, some would be praying, some would be sitting and all of that. Now that hall can only take 250 people. And that is only two flights. That is just two 737s. So you could see the challenge there also. We will have to figure out how we are going to stagger these departures and stagger these arrivals in such a way that we minimize the volume and the number of passengers that are getting into these uh, arrival and departure holes. And the aircraft themselves, uh, we must make sure that they are airworthy and they are certified fit to fly. We are almost ready to, to begin. Almost ready to begin. That aspect had scored, uh, I think, in excess of 90%. The aviation sector is one of the worst hit industries. According to IATA, 17 billion naira is lost every month that the airspace is shot. And of course, losing about $898 million every month. That is what Nigeria loses in terms of GDP, what would have come in if the airspace was open. But now, looking forward, is the aviation sector really ready? For the airspace to open as nigerians await a new date for the reopening of the airspace which has been grounded since the 21st of march due to the coronavirus a bailout plan for the aviation sector will be announced in the coming week but nigerians have been reminded that despite the safety measures put in place everyone has to take responsibility in order not to contract the coronavirus within and outside the airports Aviation is a highly regulated sector, and it's one of the reasons why we wanted aviation to go first in terms of preparing the country for what is going to be the new normal. And what's the new normal? Just by looking at your seats, you know that things have changed. Just by looking at the way the security people at the airport and the people giving you tickets are behaving, you know that things have changed. And why have things changed? Things have changed because we have a disease that is killing people. And we have a responsibility for our own health. I'm pleased to say that aviation has done spectacularly well. It now depends on Nigerians to be disciplined. Airline operators have also spoken of their readiness to commence flight operations. We are ready. Most of the airlines, not just APIS, have conducted the storage maintenance program very well. When you pack an aircraft, there are storage maintenance that, that are supposed to be made, not the type you do when you are flying. So all the airlines observe them. In order to let the flying public know that the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority has been on us to make sure our planes are fully maintained, storage maintenance fully observed. Beyond the compulsory wearing of face masks, provision of hand washing facilities and social distancing markers and all the other protocols as advised by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, technology is set to play a key role on ensuring compliance.